a dick. When I grow up, I'm gonna be so rich that I'll never have to struggle or suffer like this. My life servants for the servants and a castle for the crib. I'm gonna get money, get, get, get money. Hey guys, we're here with Matt Toka at the 2012 Bands of Work Tour. And the Warp Tour just started a few days ago, so do you have any stories you'd like to share? Um, so far? I've been showering with baby wipes. There's actually a shower at this venue, yeah, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna actually go in, scrub myself really well. It's not gonna be baby wipes, so I'm pretty happy about that. There's no showers anywhere else? Huh? I, they have showers. It just kind of depends what venue you're at. It also depends on schedule. It just doesn't, doesn't allow me. I was kind of not really caring about a shower for a couple of days, and so I feel not way it's like, I probably should throw my underwear away and never see it. What are some bands you look forward to seeing? You know, I just saw The Used yesterday and it was fucking great. Yeah, they're, they're One of the fun. best fucking uh, live shows I've seen in a long time. Do you have any pre-show rituals that you do? Pre-show rituals? Um, you know, I drink a lot of um, heroin, liquid heroin. No, I'm just kidding. I, I usually just warm my voice up for like 20 minutes, do a couple stretches, and I'm good to go. What's the most embarrassing thing that happened to you on stage? Most embarrassing thing? Okay, this is like seven years ago. I want to say I'm in like Pittsburgh, PA. I'm wearing very, very tight pants. I didn't used to wear underwear back then. So it was very, very tight pants. My pants ripped and, and uh, my trunk was hanging out, right? From like all these 14 year old girls. It was like 18, 19 at the time. And I kind of finished the set through, but. It was literally like 10 minutes that were pretty awkward. That's, you didn't cover anything, you just kept going. I just, went along no, I just went balls out. I think, you know, that's where the expression comes from. What's something on your iPod that people would be shocked when you listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of Robbie Shankar, which is like sitar music. Not, you don't really play a sitar like this, but uh, I listen to a lot of Miles Davis as well. Do you have any crazy fan stories? Crazy fan stories? I don't think so. No one has, you know, said, hey, I'm pregnant or anything like that. So I'm pretty good at the moment. At the moment? At the, at the moment. What were you like in high school? What was I like in high school? I don't know. Uh, Troublemaker? No. Yeah, I was slightly a class clown. You can say that. I like fucking with people. All <laughs> well, the teachers hated you. Teachers probably didn't really like me that much. Yeah, that's Fair statement. What's the most trouble you got into? Uh, I moved a bunch of kids once. That wasn't cool. I went to a Catholic school and we were supposed to draw a picture of Jesus. Right? Like your own interpretation. Some people draw females, some people draw themselves, they see Jesus and everybody. I knew Howard Stern wearing a beautiful butthead t shirt. My parents were really pissed off about that and the whole uh, faculty as well. And if you could tour with anyone, Tour with anybody, definitely Green Day or Metallica, without a doubt. You would be the headliner. I would be the headliner. They would open up for me. Obviously. You know, Kurt Hammett would say, "Oh, here's your guitar." Every night, I'd go, "Kurt, clearly you didn't see the set. Like, I don't play fucking guitar during our set." You know. You get it right. You're Stupid Kurt. Off. Yeah. What are you doing? The <laughs> last one. If you were a SpongeBob character, which one would you be and why? Um, I would say I would be SpongeBob because I am a sponge. I like to absorb my environment. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know. I, I hope that you wouldn't clean a bathroom floor with that sponge. That's cool. Yeah. That's all I have. Thank you so much. Hug. Let's hug it out. For how long? Shit!